guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new. Today I'm coming with a reaction video on Drake's song or response diss track to Kendrick's song in F Futures and Metro's album. Um, also I'll be reacting to Rick Ross's um, track because I think that's a response track to Drake called Champagne Moments after this one. So yeah, it's just gonna be interesting. It's gonna be funny. Yeah, I think this came out like yesterday. What's the day today? Yeah, that came out like yesterday, so it'll be interesting to hear what he's got to say in response and whether he's got some good, um, this is coming at him, but yeah, let's get into it. Never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby. Hope for red, you been shook up. This top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool, your last one brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, let's decipher this, so basically he's saying I could never be no a nobody number one fan, your first number one, I had to put it in your hand, so Drake is capping back basically, insisting that he is the one who granted Future his first song to chant number one, which is true, because <laughs> Drake's Way Too Sexy from his 2021 project, Certified Lover Boy, was the first featuring Future to top, uh, to top the Billboard 100. Right. So, then he says, you pussies can't get booked outside America for none, like nothing. Um, I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on backstage in, sit in my city. It was friend zone. So he's just saying, like, back then, before, they didn't rate him, but now he's, like, global. And, like, he's out in Japan and people in, like, Asia even recognise him compared to some of the other rappers, I guess. Um, you won't ever take no chain of us. How the fuck you big step in with a size 7 men's on? Right. So I don't know if he's just trying to call Kendrick short or... <laughs> He's like making a punchline um, out of Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, which is one of Kendrick's album 2022 releases that he slanders later on. Um, Drake jokes that Lamar can't be Big Stepper because he's quite short. So yeah, um, that's that's mad. Then this the bark with the big bite nigga, what's up? So the phrase all bark, no bite is basically what he means. Um, He's just saying that Kendrick is chatting for the sake of chatting and he hasn't got anything to come with it. What else is he saying? There's so there's so much. I'm literally deciphering every single lyric. Um, your last one bricked, but you, you're really not you're really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Basically saying his last song was rubbish. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. So Drake clowns Kendrick for catering to the mainstream by making references, uh, reference to features on Bad Blood, Blood, Bad Blood Mix and Don't Want to Know by mainstream pop acts Taylor Swift and Maroon 5. And obviously Swifties are her fan base. Um, but yeah, let's let's just carry on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I had to decide for down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference. 
between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the sixth guy. I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuzz. That was uncalled for. That was so uncalled for. <laughs> Metro didn't even say anything. <laughs> I mean, that's literally, literally it though, because Metro makes beats in it. But <laughs> Metro didn't even say anything, and he still said, "Metro, shut your ass up and make some drums." <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> anyway. Runner, playing a six, and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash flowing, able bread out here tricking. Shit, we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping there, probably got your bitch in nail. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tear. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit, ayy. I'll be with some bodyguards like Big Me, Top Say, drop your little midget ass, better fucking, ayy. Sorry, what? You know what? This song is hard. I can't lie. This song, this song, this song is hard. Um, nah, not him saying, oh, he's gonna be there with bodyguards like Whitney because obviously, like Whitney Houston, um, started in 1919, 1992 romance film The Bodyguard. Um, so that's his response basically, and he's just saying that he he's got his own, you know, um, that. That chorus, that dropping like a fifty, that was hard. Um. Anyway, let's 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 carry on. I take it latest girl a couple like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning fifty. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dog dropping, give me fifty, drop, drop. In that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see a top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, is not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show. Money, merch, money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me 50 on you fuck niggas teaming up. Right, so that's the interlude. Hold on, give me a minute. Give me a minute. He even backed up Cole saying, um, and that fucking song y'all got said, do not start the beef with us. This shit ain't been brewing in a pot. Now I'm heating up. I don't care what Cole think. That dot shit was weak as fuck. Drake, Drake clarified that the shots thrown at him and Cole by Dot or Kendrick, well, Kendrick obviously, um, on the like that were not the Im were not like just wasn't it. Um and it was un un unnecessary, basically. He was saying this gives credence to the history of subliminal shots between Drake and Lamar, tracing all the way back to 2013, where Kendrick famously declared war against Drake and the rest of his peers by the name by the name on control. Um, Drake insists that the tension between him and Lamar has been brewing since then. That tension would pressure J. Cole to drop Seven Minute Drill, a diss track in response of Lamar, where he controversially insisted that 25th, Lamar's 2015 sophomore album to Pimp a Butterfly was overrated. Um, I like that album personally, so I don't know. Cole would go on to attract these lines not even 48 hours later, his performance to Dreamville Festival. So obviously that's like when Cole removed the song from his all streaming platforms on the album, um, which I wish he kept because that was a great, great album like that was a great song um but yeah so he's basically saying yeah no like cole should have kept it up basically which i agree with 
but Pimp a Butterfly is also not a shit album or it's not overrated like it is a good album so let's carry on all right next song is champagne moments personally i like that song can't lie it's a good diss track it's, it's a good comeback um guys comment down below what you think uh, yeah i'm interested to see what rick ross has to say ricky rossi and the picture of it is like drake looking like a white guy which is gonna be interesting let's let's get into it Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label taking a loss, are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart, don't make me laugh. Get the mind, tell by my watch, this a different time. Living fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Who Wait, so he was just saying, record label taking a loss, are you in the bag? Your worker wanting to chart, don't make me laugh. In 2022, Drake signed a multi-million dollar deal with Universal Music Group, according to Variety. The, labels, the label earns an estimated 50 or 70 million dollars from the rapper's music. The rapper accuses Drake of being the reason that some of the artists didn't perform as expected on the song summer 16 drake talks about his contribution to label to the label referencing jay-z the rockefeller director as an example of what he want to be like so yeah rick cross is just saying like you're just tr you're just doing this for the charts you're not actually doing this for the real deal like you're not what are you actually bringing to the table that's what he's saying but you know what i think the charts kind of just define what's going on no because that's what majority likes i don't know i don't i don't know anyway let's carry on easy moving keys and this louis v's run up on you and snatch your chain watch you bitches bleed feel the pain or just describe where you really ride either you niggas getting money or ready to die big or give a fuck if you chi lee you got it and you keep it tough if you be by me do the job better known as the charles schwab double law spread through the yard and i swear to god pop a perk for the field Go and count me a meal, kill you niggas for free, do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. White boy, I see you. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was so uncalled for. The white boy, I see you, but that's funny. Um... I love how he kind of just went, yeah, I'm going to rip that chain off because J uh, Drake was going on about wearing his all his chains and stuff. Um, and then also he says um, they're leaking records when they speak directly. If we keep it gangster, when you see me, you check me. So basically, so I think the push up song was leaked or something. So he's just saying like, you don't know who leaked it and you're scared to ask or like find out who leaked it basically he's like he's scared to d speak directly to whoever leaked it which might be rick ross so we'll see anyway let's carry on see you yeah check getting bullied don't walk up on me because the clip is fully niggas pussy don't want to push me i'm like really woody like his moves but he never had a fight in school always ran another nigga had to write your cruise float don't walk up on me because the clip is fully niggas pussy when they don't don't want to push me i'm like really would he i mean can anyone push rick ross really i don't think so <laughs> Your pace, Weezy gave you the juice. Another white boy at the park, wanna hang with the crew. Pull it surprise when they're switching up like diet denim. Get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look me right in my face, he beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming, I predicted my fate. Got more money than you, fuck you want me to say. 50 mils for the crib, where you want me to stay? I can shoot up the block, I got pictures to paint. Let you DM my old, but got bitches you can't. Let you get on my songs, it was good. 
roof of your face. Now, bitch, nigga, is home. Ain't no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. You ain't never wanna be a nigga anyway, nigga. That's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your father nose, nigga. I don't follow you, nigga, cause you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. You sent the police, nigga, hating on my dog project. That wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, seeing niggas holding them sticks. Yeah, you old motherfucking stun of your life, nigga. Get Wheezy some more money, nigga. You rap a lot, some more money, nigga. White boy, yeah, biggest. It's Rose, nigga. We can do it how you wanna do it, where you wanna do it, anytime you wanna do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. Huh? I know you got your dockers on with no underwear, white boy. Yeah, you had that surgery, that six pack on, that's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, nigga. White boy. What <laughs> has Drake actually done a nose job? <laughs> That's not the only thing I took of this, but what the hell? The end has just got me shook off. Like, that wasn't even a rap at the end. The end was just like, Come at me, I'll catch you, catch me outside. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Huh? Catch me outside. How about that? Um, hold on a minute. Has Drake actually done a, a nose job? Okay, so he says he hasn't. He says he hasn't. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, his nose looks similar to what it was. Maybe like a little bit like off the bridge on the side. But anyway, no, that, that was that was rude. That was so rude. Guys, let me know who you think has got a be better diss track. Thing is, Drake didn't even at Rick Ross. So like Rick Ross is just coming with heat. Um, or did he at Rick Ross? I don't know. He kind of just added like other rappers and more like Kendrick, but I don't know. Anyway, that was my reaction video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button down below. And I will see you in my next video. Also comment down below which one you liked more. Bye.